Hey guys, welcome back to Creative with Mo. Thanks for joining me for another video. Today I'm going to be doing an update on my fitness planner, um, the changes that I have made and what I'm doing differently, what I'm using differently. But before I get into that, I just want to give a brief overview of how I used to use uh, my planners for fitness. So I am still a newbie when it comes to planning. I started back in January 2019 and I purchased this medium size recollections spiral bound planner um, in January 2019. I used it throughout the entire year and it was pretty much my catch all planner. But as far as my fitness, what I was doing was writing down um, my calories, carbs, fats, protein, sugar, and water intake. Um, so basically just my macros instead of writing down actual um, meals that I was eating. And then as far as workouts, I was trying to be as detailed as possible. So I would put the type of workout that I did, the sets, the reps, and then the weights. Um, and so I thought because it worked pretty good for me throughout the 2019 year that in 2020 I would do a similar thing. So I went ahead and purchased another recollection spiral bound binder for 2020. However, I recently or quickly realized that I wanted to do more in this planner. Um, this was going to be my catch-all planner and I started journaling and starting a gratitude log um, and then doing my to-do sections and any appointments and scheduling. And so this is what it looks like in January. I had my workouts up top and then any to-do list secondly and then I would list the foods that I was eating, um, my hydration intake, and then I was doing a gratitude log there. And that while that did work, I did find that um, as my schedule got a little busier and I had more appointments and more things that I wanted to keep track of, that I was just running out of room. So I decided to take the fitness portion out of this planner and find another planner to do it in. So after some research, I found this journal. This is a recollections journal. I purchased this at Michael's. Um, it is undated. And what I loved about it so much, besides the fact that it was undated, was that it had the breakdown of the exercises, the duration, the set, the rep, the weights, and then um, the calorie burn so I didn't have to make that section myself and then it has a food log so I thought this would work out really well um, and it did for a while I started this in February I believe yeah so I started in February I didn't start in January and um, I really like these little check-in spots where you can write there's steps that you do every day the daily calories your measurements beginning weight um, and after weight and then this section here um, about how many days you worked out how well you were rested and the days that you were hydrated also they have um, these little check your progress pages which I thought was nice my problem with this is that even though I started in February once I pre plan all the way through the end of April, so April 30th here, I then realize that I am more than halfway, a little more than halfway through this book. And I didn't realize that when I purchased this, that while it was undated, it was not a full 12 month um, journal. And I really just like to have all of my stuff in for the whole year in one book or one planner or one journal and so I did not I was really disappointed about that to realize that it didn't have space for the entire year and even towards the back um, there's this section here which is just a blank bullet pages 
so it doesn't even run all the way through the very end so I can probably put maybe two two maybe three more months in this so it would probably run from uh, February to June and then I would have to buy another fitness planner to uh, for the last six months of the year and I just did not want to do that I wanted to have everything um, in one book one binder one journal um, and so while I did really like the layout of this and all the information um, that I can track on it and I'm trying to get it to where you guys can like okay it's focused there now so you can really kind of see uh, the pages are not numbered, but I really did like this um, journal, but I found that it is just, it's not going to work for me because I want everything in one book. So I went back to a book that was gifted to me um, last year, 2019, and originally I didn't want to use this book just because it didn't have a big enough section to do a detailed workout, so... Let me zoom you in a little. There we go. So that might help a little bit. So yeah, I just didn't like that the um, sections weren't big enough for a detailed workout when it came to the weights. Um, and so I originally thought that I was not going to use it because of that. So I went to revisit this fitness journal again to see if maybe I can make it work and while it is undated I did go through and make sure and it does have um, the 12 months in here so I could go ahead and um, use it for the entire year so I went back and I started I just kind of copied over from the old journal and I started in February and then this is just kind of what I'm doing with it yeah, I just go ahead and put the days in and then it has these little boxes um, where you could put your strength, your cardio, and the rest days. And I just try to kind of, you know, doctor it up and make it look a little prettier and cuter by adding um, some stickers. And then at the bottom left here, here corner, I put my starting weight and then the end weight, um, and then the difference negative or minus um, negative or positive, or if I stayed the same. And then here I have my total days worked out, total day rested, and total days fasted because I do practice um, intermittent fasting. And so this is pretty much what uh, January looks like, and it does give me pretty a good amount of space to write uh, my meals my workouts um, I just can't do a detailed workout and I've decided to just be okay with that because I mean I'm not doing any type of fitness shows I'm not into bodybuilding so I guess I really don't need to have that although I would like to have it and it would definitely be a kind of like a luxury but it's definitely not a necessity so this is what I am doing currently and hopefully um, it will work out well and I can continue to use this for the rest of 2020. Now this is a, I believe it's called a pin and gear fitness um, journal by, you can get it at Target and you can get it at Walmart. And right now they don't have this exact one um, but it is very similar setup inside but I think the covers are just different they have different um, colors and different sayings but it's pretty much the same um, inside so right now if you go on their website I know they have it for like nine dollars and some change um, if you wanted to pick one up and hopefully if this works I will go ahead and be purchasing another one for next year but I'm probably not going to decide that until I'm probably like maybe in October November around that time I think will be a good time to gauge whether or not this worked out well for me and if I want to use it again but I wanted to go ahead and just give an update on what I'm doing regarding my fitness tracking and fitness journaling my fitness journey so that is it guys thank you so much for watching I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and happy planning